Good morning, everybody. Today is Tuesday, April 11th. And I am leaving the shelter, Ricefield Shelter. This has been a great shelter. If you get a chance to stay here, you need to stay here. The sun's coming up. see the moon and this view is just incredible there were four of us at supper time here and we came out on this high point and cooked our supper so we could overlook this valley while we were eating and it was just incredible just incredible day 46 was pretty awesome I got 18 miles in. Today is day 47, and I gotta get 25. Be my first 25 if I get it. So, gotta be rolling a little later than normal. Sun has not come up yet, but it's about to come over the mountains. As you can see, it's gorgeous. a great day again today absolutely beautiful clear skies it was supposed to go in the 30s but my thermometer said it's 44 just now so i don't think it really got that cold i slept really good only got up once during the night so that's that's always a bonus I got 25 miles to get, so I can't, I can't be stopping filming a whole lot. But how do you not just stand here with your mouth wide open looking at this? Gorgeous. Learn from trail worker all these scraggly dead trees I couldn't see any sign of a fire or anything but coming up I saw how all these trees are dead and the Appalachian trail worker said that, that it was caused from an ice storm a few years ago they had a bad ice storm it was so bad it killed the trees about all the ice storms we've had in Mississippi. Usually it'll kill some, but it don't kill them this bad. This looks like every tree's dead. It's pretty tough. It just, I guess it broke them down so bad it killed them. I see some got some new growth on them. Man, there's a lot of dead trees hard to find a place to make them throw a line over for a bear bag because the trees did. Looks like I'm going to stay with the power line for a little while. It's going the wrong direction. This is off to the other side, to the south side of this ridge. Back there is where I was staying on the ridge, looking to the north. This is looking back toward, that's Parisburg, where I ate yesterday in town. This is to the south. That's 
fog settling in that valley. Now we, now we turn and going back in generally the right direction. The sun is up. Just walking the ridge this morning, 6.8 miles so far, and staying on the ridge, watching this valley over to the left, and every now and then I get a peak of the valley to the right, but mostly to the left. That's pretty much what the trails look like for the last 6.8. Just up and down a little bit, rocky, Get a little smooth and then off of it. I've heard about the goats. They don't really know where they, how they got here, where they came from. But they showed up a couple of years ago. They are a little bit of a nuisance, I've heard. Yeah. They kind of look for, that's all, one, two. All right, don't be messing with me. Don't be messing with me. Hey, 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 get back, get back. No, 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 no. I don't have anything for you. No, no, go on. No. what I heard they, they try to get you to feed them they're all males and they're a little hard-headed and, and you have to kind of be forceful with them or they'll lick you and gnaw on your pack all of that that was that was six that wasn't five I, I thought there was only five I didn't hurt them, I just hit them with my poles in the neck, mostly. They got the message. They headed somewhere else now. Been working my way down the mountain off that ridge. And I'm out of water just about, so this is a good sign to see down here. This is called the Pine Swamp Branch. Pine Swamp Branch. So there's several places here, but I'm going to think I'm going to go on. There's water at the shelter, too. There's a shelter coming up. I'm going to take a break there and get some. That's pretty. Little creek. I'm gonna take a break at the shelter and eat something. Being that this is a 25 mile day, I better get some, try to get some calories inside me. And so there's water there. I fill up there, which is about, oh, it's over half a mile yet. It's nice to be in the shade too, a little bit. These pines down in here give me some shade. 
I've been putting sunscreen on my ears. They've been getting roasted. But so I bought some sunscreen to keep it in my pack. Every afternoon and every day I've been putting it on there. All right, here is the, the official crossing of the Pine Swamp Branch where you can get some water. Okay, lunch time. I don't see if I can, I don't even know what the name of this shelter is. It's got a fireplace, how about that? Nice on a cold night. Huh. Bunks on either side. Pretty neat. Good spot for lunch. And get some water. That's the third one. I've been trying to wait here and get one on video after lunch. There's obviously a Air Force base or something. Virginia Beach, is there one at Virginia Beach? There's flying like under radar, I guess. Somebody had told me that the mics would see them. That's pretty incredible. I can hear them coming just barely before they get here. bridge here. Really nice. cool area and I'm passing through. Still plenty of rhododendrons, but the pines in here too. Keeping it nice and shady. All right, what happened? There it goes. Bailey Gap Shelter. It's got a privy. Still going. I think our shelter is this is the next one I'm looking for. According to my watch, I still got eight and a half miles. For 25 total. That's a big old tree. That is falling. Oh, all these rocks.
Hey, some firewood. Still climbing. Well, I just went through a very, very long section of rocks that were brutal. They just, not a good day to choose a 25 miler with all those rocks. So it slowed me way down. I'm at 19 now and I got six more to go. It's probably getting close to five o'clock. Probably going to be right at dark getting there. Depending on the trail. If the trail, I get more rocks like that again. I mean, that might get by dark. Whew, those were brutal. I've just been struggling through every rock. Everywhere you step was on a rock. All different sizes and shapes. Some loose, some not loose. Just and, sh and tilted every which way. No fun. No fun. All right, let me keep rolling. Climbing high. By the way, we swapped mountain ranges. I came from that one over there to this one. Okay, y'all. I just broke the 25 miler. <laughs> First time I've hiked on this trip over 25 miles. I got about a half mile to go to get to the shelter. Staying at the War, W A R, War Spur Shelter. I got all I want today, I promise. I don't want any more. <laughs> Matter of fact, I've had thoughts about camping, setting up camp. It just, there's a long section here with no place to resupply. So, and I set up a resupply for Friday, Saturday in Daleville. I'm trying to get there by, by Friday night, which I should make it now that I got 25 in a day because that gives me, gives me the rest of the days, minimum days. But I think it was like 95 days, 95 miles from, uh, what was that? Uh, Paris, Paris, Parisburg. I can't, even, I can't even think now. My body is exhausted. But I don't feel like I've injured it. I'm just, just tired. So, uh, and I'm probably not going to be able to film when I get there. As you can see, the sun is, the sun is steady going down. It's just shining on those mountains over there. And it's about to set. I would probably eat a couple of 1500 or so calorie meals tonight I may even eat breakfast in the morning I eat another one of my meals for breakfast depends on how many I got I got to count them to see how many I got to make me to last me till Friday Woo. yep I'm whipped got all I want and the crazy thing is there's another hiker that I met in the last couple of days that passed me today and he's he's gonna have hiked he's going to the same shelter and he's gonna hike seven miles further than I have he'll have 32 in he's younger 
definitely younger than me <laughs> and apparently definitely in better shape than me blew my mind he's a nice guy he served in the military his uh, trail name's pinky pinky all right i'm gonna put this down and finish this up i got I've got 25.15 now. I've been hiking 12 hours and 29 minutes so far today since I left this morning. Let's see what my elevation is before I sign off with you. All right, I've gone up 45.85 and I've gone down 53.60. And I'm still going down, so to the shelter, I still got about four tenths or so, three tenths, something like that to the shelter. And there's supposed to be water there, so it's supposed to be pretty easy to get according to far out. I'm counting on that as well. All right, so what was this, day 47? Coming to an end, it's been a long one. A lot of miles down. And I got a buddy behind me coming in too. I hope he's okay. That's OG somewhere behind me. All right, I'll talk to y'all later. If I can, I'll come back on and give you a little wrap up. It'll be 25 and a half miles. If I don't, I got 25 and a half in today. Shelter should be coming up in the next three tenths or so. All right, talk to you later.